one of the things that's taking a long time at happening, which is typical in education, is change. Change from the way we learned, and in my case back in the 50s and the 60s, to how kids are learning today in the new millennia. And we feel comfortable around how we learned and how we now teach, and we feel uncomfortable if that has to change, and we offer up criticism about those kids and their, their type of lifestyle. So I think all of that, the culture now, is switching around a little bit. And what we do find in cyber learning is abilities to help teachers teach more efficiently in the classroom and then to provide very significant opportunities and experiences for kids to practice and expand upon what they learned in the classroom instructional process um, outside the classroom. That is what is extremely important to me is that experience piece. Now they learn the concepts but now they have ways through cyber learning to practice and expand on that knowledge base and it's that, that experience that helps really solidify the learning process. Um, oftentimes, I think in some cases, some of the researchers are looking at cyber learning as a silver bullet to take place during the school day or in the school. And I think they're missing the mark there. Because it, it is not, I don't believe that cyber learning is the silver bullet to take over schools and make us better. It, it is to make us more efficient and relevant to the process related to the learners of today. And once I think that everybody agrees upon that and comes together and says, these are the outcomes for cyber learning, I think that uh, we can work and play better together in the sandbox. There's a lot of conversation around the, the title of games. And what I'm seeing in the concept of games here is really nothing more than what we've been doing for 10 or 15 years, which is instructional resources. It's not really a game to me. And in, in, in a sense, they say, well, we're using a different type of presentation that looks like a game, but it's not a game. A game, um, in real sense, is, is a device or a way of students getting experiences at something. And they do it over an extended period of time because the reinforcement schedules inside that game keep them going further and further and, and in more advanced ways and also helps them to learn. In other words, they're learning about the game, but the reinforcement schedules are so tight and so well designed that it pushes them and pushes them and pushes them. Because it, it doesn't give them so much negative that they give up. It gives them a little bit of negative to challenge them and understand that they have to keep working. But then when they start to break, it brings them back to a success. So now they're back to the cycle again. From my perspective, I came here because I thought that that's what the games were all about, not instructional resources, because in real games, I want to learn more about the reinforcement schedules and how can I transfer that knowledge and practice into the educational classroom, the instructional program. Because if our teachers can learn how to set up instructional schedules better so kids are in fact engaged more, and they'll do that over a longer period of time like they do in an actual game, that produces wonderful results inside the classroom. So that's what I was hoping for. But I think that um, in cyber learning right now, they're really looking at instructional resources more than true games that have these strong extended time frames of engagement with, with uh, absolutely wonderful reinforcement schedules. So I think we have a little, a little bit of knowledge to go there. I have looked at um, some of the Microsoft um, new products that are coming out. We are intrigued by some of those things. And uh, Montage is uh, also out there, uh, which we actually had a conversation with them last night, and they're going to come into our district and take a look at how they can help us uh, develop our, or improve our um, technological capacity inside the classroom and the buildings. So there, there is some products out there that we're going to be taking a deeper look at and possibly bringing inside.